Our main story, three people have been killed in the Irish Republic as powerful winds unleashed by storm Ophelia have battered the British Isles. Around 360,000 properties in the Republic are without power, as are hundreds of homes in Northern Ireland. Our Ireland correspondent Chris Buckler is in Galway on the west coast of Ireland, where the storm is passing through. Well, Ophelia has arrived in Galway, and with her has come these huge winds. There are some very, very big gusts, and you get a real sense standing here of why the authorities are concerned. These are winds capable of causing a great deal of damage and destruction. And we are keeping some distance back from the water here because of concerns for our safety and we're keeping watch around us. But you do get a sense of just how impressive this storm actually is. Now, we've had a lot of people walking up and down this promenade during the day. There were some here just a short time ago, but they have started to take shelter. And that is not the advice from the authorities. The police have been keeping a short presence here, the Garda keeping a watch just for people and making sure that nobody gets themselves into trouble. But beyond that, the roads are largely closed. And when you look out to sea, you can see that the waves are really growing in size. This isn't yet the peak of the storm here, but you get a real sense of the power and the sheer amount of damage that could be caused by these kind of winds and rain. Sorry. Now, we're just getting some breaking news coming in from the Department of Education in Northern Ireland, uh, which is advising that all schools remain closed tomorrow. Uh, this follows a meeting of the Civil Contingencies Group, at which all central, local and public sector organisations are represented. Uh, the group has taken advice from the Met Office on the prolonged nature and potential severity of the storm, and a decision has been taken to advise schools to remain closed. That's all schools in Northern Ireland closed tomorrow.